Hey, this is Bob from Wham's Tech, and today we're going to continue with our Glide gamification tutorial. This is going to be all about the admins and being able to award points manually to your users. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to our spreadsheet and create a log that the um, that the point values are going to land up in. So we're going to add a new sheet. We're going to call this Award Log. Award log, and let's come up with some column headers. We're gonna get the timestamp, the user email, the, uh, let's see, maybe the, oh, we need the point values. Now, here you have to decide what you want to award. Are you awarding XP, gold, health, that kind of thing, right? So these can each be columns in our spreadsheet. There's a variety of ways we could go about this. This is probably the simplest way. So we could say, XP, gold, health maybe. Um, our app doesn't use health, so I'm not gonna confuse you and put that in there. And then maybe like a reason, right? And let's freeze our first row. And I think that's all we need. Something simple, just like that. All right, next we're gonna head over to our app and give it a refresh. And we need a place in our app in order to award these points. Now, only admins should be able to award these points, and luckily we already have an admin tab back when we created our uh, challenges section. So we're gonna hit admin, and we need to create a form button. So I'm gonna hit add, form button, and we're gonna call this award points. Nice, and then let's click on our form button to continue to build our form. And I'm gonna clear everything here. All right, our sheet is going to be our award log. Oh, okay, let's clear everything here. <laughs> All right, award log, and we're gonna first add our current date and time to be our timestamp. Next, we're gonna add a choice component to select our user. So our sheet will be users, values will be our email address, and display as, you can either display the email addresses or you could display the usernames, completely up to you, depends on how you're gonna recognize the kids in the app. I'll choose username for now, and column will be the user email. And since I'm displaying the username, I'll just choose the title to be user, and this is a required field, good. All right, uh, next we need to create the point values. Again, a couple of ways you can go about doing this as well. If you wanted to create set point values, you could create an options sheet in your spreadsheet here. Uh, for example, I called my resources, right? And maybe point values could be, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Maybe you're awarding um, XP in different denominations. Maybe it's like XP values, right? And you could say something like you know, 10, 25, 50, 100, right? Maybe you're awarding health just one at a time, right? Maybe you're awarding health just you know minus one or plus one, right? Um, something like that. And then back in our app, we'll give this a refresh. And you could use choice components to write to those columns, right? Uh, just to kind of keep things simple and open-ended, I'm gonna use number entries. So I'm gonna hit a number entry component here, and this column will be for the XP, right? So I'm gonna say for the title, XP awarded. And you also see that Glide has a new feature, thanks to yours truly. Um, this is one of my feature requests that got added, is to have a min value and a maximum value to be required before they can submit the form, right? So for XP, let's say I'm never going to award negative XP. So the minimum value should be one, right? And I also not gonna award zero XP, that'd be silly. And maybe I don't want to award anything more than 100 XP at a time. So I can set a max value to be 100, which means if I choose a user and if I choose like negative one, you see I can't submit my form. And if I choose 101, I can't submit my form. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's our XP awarded and then we can do the same thing. Uh, we'll just clone this component and we'll choose uh, for instead of XP, gold. This will be gold awarded. Maybe my minimum value for gold will be like 10 and my maximum value will be um, 250, something crazy. All right, and then lastly, we need to have a reason. So I'm gonna choose a text entry, and this will be our reason, just for fun. All right, so let's go ahead and award some points. 
So for this user, Bob is going to be awarded uh, 10 XP and 50 gold um, because you're awesome. And submit. All right, so I've now been awarded those points. And if I go to my spreadsheet under my award log, I can see that that took place. And now all we have to do is create a relation and some rollups of these values to add to our totals. To do that, we're gonna go to our user columns. So in the data editor, users, add a column. We're gonna call this relation to awards. We're gonna do a relation where the email address matches the values in award log user email. Okay, and match multiple because we'll probably be awarding these users multiple times. Done. All right, so you see that it caught this relation here. Perfect. I'm now gonna add another column. And this will be my lookup. Not lookup, sorry. Um, we're gonna say awarded gold. Column type will be a rollup, summarizing the values in the relationship to the awards, gold. And we're gonna calculate the sum. All right, so you see I've, I've been awarded 50 gold, perfect. Um, next, under the add column, we're gonna do awarded XP. And this would be another roll up column, summarizing the values in the relationship to awards, and then the uh, XP by calculating the sum. Done. All right, so now we have a, a list of all of the awarded gold and a list of all the awarded XP. Um, if you wanna keep things consistent, we can add labels to those. So back in our award, hello, um, our award log, right? Uh, let's give this a refresh because it didn't pull in these values for some reason. Um, our XP is going to have the units of XP afterwards. Precision one, done. And gold is going to have the units of our money bag. So let's go find that money bag again. Perfect. Space there and before the number. Done. Still know why it's not populating here. That's weird. Does it show up in our users? I'm not sure if it's just a glitch on Glide side. Yeah, it's showing up here. I don't know. That's strange. All right. So now we're going to bring the awarded gold over to the gold section. All right. Do 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 do. Where's my gold? Way over here. All right. So we're gonna bring our gold over to our other awarded gold that we did with our challenges and our transactions. And so now we have this awarded gold section and all we have to do is adjust our calculation. Okay, so it says I have 50 gold, right? Right now in my app, I have zero gold, which means once I've completed this calculation, I should see that I have 50 gold to spend. So in my data editor, I'll go to data and then adjust this transaction. Edit, where, we're gonna add another column. Let's do plus A for awarded, where A stands for awarded gold. Boom, done, nice. So it looks like I have 50 gold now, see that? And now in my layout, sure enough, I have 50 gold right over here, perfect. All right, let's so do the same thing with our XP. So under our data editor, Let's scroll all the way to the end. Let's drag our awarded XP over to where it should be all the way at the beginning. Bear with me. We're getting there. Three, two, one, perfect. All right. And we have our awarded XP and we're gonna adjust our calculation. Edit. We'll add A where A stands for awarded XP. Boom. So now instead of 125, I have 135. Oh, okay, I didn't save my change. Plus A. A stands for awarded XP, 125 to 135, done. Nice, so 135 XP and 50 gold. Let's do it again, just so you see it's gonna adjust this live now. So if I give myself 65 XP and 150 gold, I should now have 200 and 200. So admin, award points, user, Bob, XP awarded, 65, gold awarded, 150, reason, test, Submit, and back, I now have 200 and 200. 
and this is free to spend. And you also see that I'm gonna level up my XP here as well, right? So right now I'm bronze at 200 XP. All I need is 50 more XP to go to the next, um, next rank, right? So let's do that one more time. I'm gonna award points. User, Bob, XP, 50. Uh, gold awarded, oh, we, should, we can't make these required. Let's do zero. We can do something like that maybe. Oh, minimum value is 10. All right, so Rooks, we're not gonna necessarily award both, right? So um, either you can set the minimum to zero or you can make those not required. I kind of want to make them required because I don't want to fill it in empty form, but maybe we should make it zero for the minimum value. Good catch, Bob. And gold, minimum value zero. All right, do that again. Bob, XP awarded, 50, gold awarded, zero, submit. And should we at the next rank? And I am silver. Woo, nice. Look at that. All right. So you see everything works as intended and it's instant. That's the beauty of Glide Data Editor Columns. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.